representing my students to present yeah, our educational uh, manipulative uh, the future thinking map, uh, for learning and facilitating STEM. The idea of this uh, future thinking map was originated from a uh, Bloom Future View. But the problem of using this uh, Bloom Future View for a group of students to learn STEM, especially in rural areas, so uh, the, the problem we face is to to draw the circle in different orders on a piece of marching paper. So our proposed solutions was to fold the marching paper and we draw the lines on the folds. And then uh, uh, this uh, future uh, this map will be, become a six with, uh, a thinking map with six orders. So uh, the future thinking map and uh, guide the student to learn STEM in two phases. The first phase to engage the student in a structure brainstorming um, using um, brainstorming um, to explore the six uh, future thinking uh, construct proposed by Jones and his uh, colleagues. They are Yes, these are the future thinking. Uh, the order, first order is understanding the current situation. The second order is about identifying the key trends yeah, from the changes in the past and the reason. And the third order is to identify the factors or drivers that cause the trends. And the, uh, the third order is to analyzing uh, the advantages and disadvantages of the drivers. And the fifth one is to ask the student to develop a few, uh, solutions for a future scenario. And the final one is to ask the student to select their future uh, scenarios with justifications. So all these... Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> future order, uh, they need to use the STEM concept in order to, under, to, to, to answer the different orders uh, in the future thinking map. Um, the higher the order, the more elements of the STEM elements can be learned from the, uh, by the students. The second phase, the second phase of the future, uh, future thinking map is to uh, help the student to strengthen their STEM concept too sketching and making the prototype. Using the idea generate in the first and the fifth and the sixth order. And then students will present uh, the prototype in front of their peers and their uh, teachers. So in that at this stage they will learn the skill of design. I mean uh, because they're sketch, yeah. So the skill of designing and technology. Be technology because they use the, they have to choose the right uh, recycled materials to be to make the prototype. Uh, the future thinking map is used uh, in groups of four to five students. Yeah? Each student will be given a marker pen to fill up, to fill up uh, the, the empty space. Yeah, the, the orders. Yeah? You see, uh, guided, guided uh, uh, notes, yeah, guided uh, notes, and the learning activities, yeah? instructions in the learning activities. So, uh, we, uh, this, um, yes, the, the instructions guide them, and the this the order. Okay, um, uh, students need to. Uh, actually, uh, the scenarios is given, and the student will uh, will write the issues or the events of change in the middle of the thinking map, and then they will follow the, for the order and yeah, to, to complete the future thinking map. Mm, the teachers act as a facilitator to guide them and to monitor their group work. Uh, the thing, future thinking map was tested on a group of 66 Hong Kong students in rural area in school, uh, guided by 27 secondary school teachers as facilitators in a uh, 
Experimental Mentee Outreach Program. It was found that uh, uh, this future uh, thinking map is uh, is highly uh, is applicable, is usable, and also effective uh, in uh, nurturing their stems among uh, former students in rural school. Thank you. <laughs>